when I was a lot younger, probably f three years ago, four years ago, I was always sitting on the bus uh, with my headphones in and I would listen to music. And while I listened to that music, I would visualize myself like fighting someone to that music, right? I was obsessed with the idea of just standing up and punching someone in the face. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why it's it's just like that, right? I just I just wanted to get up and punch some dude in the face, right? I always had this idea. Okay, I'm with some girl on a date, which of course I didn't do because I was a wanker. Let me tell you that <laughs> four times a day, <laughs> and I was sitting on the bus and I imagined myself. What if I would go out with some beautiful woman? Beautiful and some guy attacked us, right? Some guy would come up to us and then this music would start playing and then and then I would press play and I would think like, oh man, yeah, let's fight these people. And then from the one guy there were like 20 people coming and then I beat the shit out of them and fucking I got off my gun or something, right? That, that, that was the things I would visualize and I hope you can relate to this. Obviously, I didn't want to hurt anyone. I was a little soy boy pussy. I, I wouldn't bear the thought of, of literally punching someone in the face. I just wanted to feel like a hero. And the reason I started working out was because I essentially wanted this feeling more. And it was because the guy who got me into this told me you're gonna look like a superhero. And I thought like, man, I am a superhero. I'm rescuing girls all day long. <laughs> and today I'm gonna teach you the reason why visualization works, why it's worked for me, why it will work for you, and why you should do it if you're not doing it currently. Your mind is consciousness, you are consciousness. Whatever you see as true is true. If you think it's true that you are a big superhero, then it is true. If you see it as truth that you rescue girls all day long, then it is true. If you perceive something as true, if you believe something, it is true for you. So if you perceive a visualization as real, if your mind perceives it as real, because your brain can't see the difference between a visualization or a real thing. This is why when people dream about something a really long time, you dream about a successful business for 30 nights, three years in a row. You're gonna think, well, of course there's gonna be me. And you might ask yourself the same question I asked myself when I first really thought about visualization. I was doing it before. Even when I got onto self-improvement, I visualized myself like being so masculine and doing essentially the things that I'm doing now as a real habit, like meditating for hours at a time and fucking full of testosterone, walking through the woods barefoot without even noticing the pain, training and looking big as fuck because you're full of testosterone. And now I'm doing these things. So visualization has worked. And I'm telling you how to do visualization, but first I'm gonna tell you why to do visualization. The theory behind visualization is you imagine something and it happens. That's bullshit. It's wrong. It won't happen because you think about it. It will happen because you do the things you have to do. But how visualization changes the habit is it changes your, essentially it changes the the, the 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 relationship you have with these thoughts and with the emotions you feel while imagining the scenario you're trying to visualize right now so when you visualize talking to a woman and you truly visualize it so you don't just think about it you visualize right you talk to yourself you're talking out loudly and you and it's almost like she's there in front of you and you feel the same emotions. You have a full conversation with her. That's visualization. Not I think about driving in a Lambo and in two years I'm, I will be there. <laughs> That's not visualization. Visualization is imagining something as real and perceiving it as real. If I want to visualize right now, 
I'm going to think about the conversation I'm going to have at the time. I'm going to think about sitting there with my mom saying, her, yeah, you never have to work again. And gifting her a new house or something, paying her debt, whatever. And what happens is you simply change your relationship to these thoughts and to the situation altogether. So when you visualize talking to girls a lot, you're you are going to be way more in the mood that you are during your visualization. In your visualization, you're usually going to be the chat. You're usually going to be the thing you aspire to be. And when you are then in the situation you visualize, you're going to be way more used to that because you didn't just do it the first time, then you did it a hundred times, a thousand times before. You could now say, oh, but but when I visualize a cold approach, it doesn't count for a cold approach. You could say that, but it counts for at least half a cold approach. So if you visualize two cold approaches, it counts like one for me. If you tell me I visualized having a cold approach 50 times today, I'm telling you, okay, you had 25 cold approaches today. Very productive day for you. One of these cold approaches might have been real. But to your brain, you had 25 cold approaches. Think about how valuable this is. You just change the perception of your brain to a cold approach because you now think, okay, yeah, I'm just going to talk to her like I visualized it. And then you're going to be the Chad. And then you're going to get the girl and the success and everything you want. It simply changes your reaction to the real situation. And of course, the real situation is going to be different than the visualization was because now you don't have to imagine shit, you're in it. But when you can visualize accurately this rep thing, right? With this, this half a rep uh, per mental rep um, gets better you then will be able to get a full rep, so a real experience from a visualization. I do this all the time, right? When, when we have a game day uh, and we'll sit on the bus and we'll drive to the team we're gonna destroy, <laughs> I visualize myself in the game. And I'm a pass rusher, right? So I imagine myself pass rushing like Nick Bosa. I imagine myself doing that double swipe thing and, and then running around and knocking the, the quarterback out. And I visualize that so I have more reps than the other people. I am in practice while I'm on the bus because your mind has control over your body, of course. Your body doesn't have control over your mind if you do it correctly. And this is what I teach on this channel. So consider subscribing. <laughs> Subscribe, <laughs> um, but yeah, your your mind does control over your body, and if you have practice in your mind, of course it's never as good as real practice. But when you have a spare minute, fucking visualize there, visualize what you want to do, and the relationship you're gonna have to the moment you're visualizing is gonna be way better. You're going to have 100 reps on cold approaching before you do your first real cold approach. And other people just go in there and have that as their first rep. And imagine competing with someone who can have 100 cold approaches a day. Imagine this right now, like a YouTube channel, channel who goes cold approaching, who makes episodes where cold approaches like hundreds of women. Imagine competing with, guy, with that guy on cold approaching. It will be equal to a person who visualizes all day long. And of course, the real action is still better than, than, than visualizing. But visualizing is better than fucking listening to music. The time is going to pass anyway. Just fucking do it. Just visualize whatever you want and the relationship to it is going to be changed. And then you're going to work harder because you see, okay, these are the emotions I'm going to feel. I'm going to work hard as fuck to get these. I just visualized giving my mom a fucking house and walking around my beautiful villa, villa with her. I just visualized this and, and saw her laughing and, and, I, and I felt all the emotions. 
And before that, I thought like, yeah, man, I, I care a little bit about girls. Maybe, maybe cold approach a few, maybe wanting to be together with some, some girls, maybe sleep with some girls. And after I visualized this, I thought, how irrelevant can this shit be? I want to just sit down, record a video and work for my future self. That's the thought I had. And then I thought, okay, what video can I film? And then I thought, well, visualization led me to making this video. So let's make a video about how to visualize correctly. Imagine the emotions you're going to have in that time. And you don't have to imagine it in one solid, in one solid imagination. You don't have to have a clear picture. Just the emotions you're going to feel are enough. If you just visualize the emotions you're going to have while giving your mom the key to a new car, that will also change the, the your, your biostructure because then hormones get put out. You get more testosterone, cortisol, adrenaline, all these things. And when your body then is in the same state you're imagining right now in the future, it already knows what to do and already knows how to react and already knows how to do everything and how to handle the stress. So don't only visualize yourself being successful, but also working hard as fuck. But start with a positive visualization today. Visualize your dream and then live it. Master your mind. Center.